temperatures behind the cold front quickly falling. We're already down in the 40s here in Bryan College Station, 49 degrees, 50 in Brenham, 53 in Waco, 48 degrees in Marlin. Now along the I-45 corridor, temperatures pretty uniform, upper 40s and lower 50s. Tomorrow morning, you want to make sure you have that light jacket. We're going to fall in the upper 30s, lower 40s across the entire area. So you want the jacket before you head to work or school, and those cool temperatures are going to stick around throughout the entire day. Luckily, we're not going to deal with any rain tomorrow, and we're not dealing with any rain out there right now. Showers and storms quickly moved off into Louisiana as that cold front continued to work its way through the Brazos Valley. And the next storm system we're keeping an eye on, that's going to break its way toward uh, the coast as we head into latter parts of tomorrow into early Friday. Storm system currently over the northeastern Pacific. This is the bad boy that's going to impact our weather over the weekend, bringing a chance of snow. Yeah, we'll talk about that here in just a second. A couple models we look at to determine what the weather is going to be like across the area. First model, the American model showing the storm system over the weekend a little bit farther north and a little bit weaker than the second model we're going to look at. So this would mean the impacts would be less across the Brazos Valley. Model number two, this is the European model. It's actually showing that system just a little bit farther south and actually a little bit stronger. So this means those impacts would kind of be ramped up across our area. And we're actually leaning toward this model because Model one, the American models actually started slowly trending a little bit toward this model. So we're going to kind of blend out the two and have an emphasis on the European model. And that means we're going to see some pretty big impacts across the Brazos Valley as we head into the weekend, especially on Sunday. We're talking about the possibility of a little bit of snow. Saturday, it's going to be nice across the Brazos Valley. We're going to see sunny skies out there with clouds increasing late in the day. But as you get across western parts of the state, it's actually going to be some moisture starting to increase out there. So a few showers as you get out toward western parts of the state. Higher elevation, there is the possibility of that turning into a snow from Midland, Odessa, Lubbock, Amarillo. Those areas will see that snow. And then we're going to see the system quickly work its way off toward the east as we head into Sunday. And this is when it gets a little bit fun here in the Brazos Valley. We're going to start to see that rain Rain move in on Sunday quickly going to change over to a rain snow mix here in the Brazos Valley, including here in Bryan College Station. Our northwestern zone could actually see all snow, some just heavy wet snow there. And that snow is going to extend into the Texas Hill Country all the way up along the I-20 corridor in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. And it's actually going to stick around as we head into Monday morning as that system starts to slow down and work its way off into the mid south. And we're going to see that rain snow mix continue here in Bryan College Station and eventually move into our eastern zone as well as we head into the overnight hours on Sunday into Monday morning. Houston may actually see a little bit of a rain snow mix as well by Monday morning before the system starts to move off in the mid south and we see our impact start to decrease later in the day on Monday. A lot of questions with the system, but we do have some known. So we know the system is going to have the most impacts here in the Brazos Valley and across the state of Texas on Sunday and wintry mixture. Yeah, that's likely not only across a good part of the state, central parts of Texas, hill country, northern Texas, but here in the Brazos Valley as well and light accumulations. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a possibility, especially on those elevated surfaces. We could actually see kind of a, a wet heavy accumulation, just that slushy snow. You know what I'm talking about, that it's perfect for snowballs. Yeah, I think we're going to see that here in the Brazos Valley, including yep, right on here in Bryan College Station. I do have a wintry mixture here looking like it'll start out as rain and then change over to a rain snow mix. And then as you get a little bit farther north and west toward the I-35 corridor, Hearn, Waco, Temple. Yeah, you're going to see a chance for uh, mainly snow there. And then uh, the southeastern zone, probably going to see mainly a cold rain. But I think we'll wrap in just enough cold air as we head into latter parts of Sunday, early Monday morning, where a few snowflakes may start to mix in there as well. But looking like everybody going to see some impacts from this winter storm as we head into the weekend. Still some questions, but we're going to continue to monitor that over the next few days. 10-day forecast, really not too bad other than that uh, snow day that we have coming up on Sunday. Tristan, are you ready for the snow? You keep saying snow like it's a good thing. Like I'm looking at you and you're talking. I'm like, snow, fun, slush, everything. No. <laughs> I mean, in the Brazos Valley, though, it happens once every few years. I guess. So everybody gets excited for Ooh. it. The good news is it'll be gone the next day. Lovely. You said it's Sunday, right? Sunday, Tristan, so get right, ready for it. <laughs> That's you know, perfect. actually, that's the perfect day to stay inside, Netflix and chill, have some hot cocoa, have a fire, you know. Yup, that's it. All right, thanks, Chris. Still to come on KX.